What is going on, guys? We are back. Butchering on a budget. Another episode. Today, we're just going to jump into it, into the sleds, because uh, we got them running. Now we're going to try to get it to drive good, so I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, so we got we got the uh, Roloflex 340, uh, I think it's a GT, and we got the 440 running. Basically what we're doing now is this one is the one that's the closest to actually uh, running the best. We were able to take it out for a short little ride last week, and now what we're doing is it, we're going to play around with the carburetor for a bit, but first we have one splice in the in the fuel line here, so that's where we're going to we're gonna put our fuel filter. We had a fuel filter down there before, but it cracked on the on the test ride. So we're gonna put the fuel filter there, so we have no splices in the line. Uh, and then from there, try to get it running again, and play around with the carburetor and see if we can get it to run and drive a lot better. So basically, it ran really good, and we were able to actually go take it for a ride and uh, see how it was. But we could only run with like half chokes, so now we're gonna just fine-tune it today and see if we can get it running and driving like brand new got her outside we're just gonna keep keep messing with the carb until we can get it to actually idle and want to run Had it running, it was riding around, it just keeps bogging out, will not run. So I'm gonna tow it back, but dad got the 440 running real good. the 340 died on me when I was test riding and as you could see I was going out on the quad to go grab it and then dad came out on the 440 he got the 440 going and uh, it was running good for the most part so I took it for a rip there and that was the footage and when I hopped on the 440 he went over the 340 and he had his little squirt can of gas and he got fired back up so I got a little bit of footage of them out here running around but now the key one wanted to die it's just these carburetors just don't seem to want to be on our side. I'm thinking probably going to upgrade to a Makuni slide carburetor with a uh, with a external uh, pulse fuel pump at some point. Because uh, we rebuilt these cars, but they just, I don't know what's wrong with them. They just don't want to work. So anyways, we're going to wait while they warm up and hopefully dry off the plugs because they're getting overfueled right now. Now it wants to run. <laughs> back with the quad and then this one ran back uh like i said they just we got them running in the last video on the update and now we're just basically trying to get them to drive and stay running so it was a huge feat to take a few a uh, couple sleds that you know hadn't ran in who knows how long and get them running so that's good but basically now we're just playing with carbs because that one's overfueling uh so we played with the uh with the needle at the very bottom of the carb we're trying to get it to quit overfueling and there's a little sight gauge so we're trying to get it in the middle of the sight gauge and then this one for some reason it just intermittently decides it doesn't want to pull gas so there's something going on with the pulse line or the carburetor itself but yeah they run so now we're just trying to figure out all the little gimmicks with it and and get them so they drive and stay running but anyways that'll be it for this video and uh Hope you guys enjoyed on the progress that we're making on these vintage sleds. Thanks for watching and have a great day.